In this video, we're going to learn how to configure and manage quotas. We're going to configure quota and see the different types of quota available. And then we're going to see how to manage quotas. Let's start with a demo survey. Our demo survey for this video is the smoker survey. This survey has a couple of questions regarding smoke habits. And the first questions are, what is your gender? What's your age and what's your name? And then a bunch of other questions. We want to set the quotas on the gender question. In order to do that, we're going to note that the gender question is question number one, and the answer is one for females, for males, and two for females. Let's go ahead and add quota. In order to do that, we're going to click on the survey main node, and we're going to switch to the rules tab. The rules tab contains the quota tab. In order to add a new quota definition, we're going to click on this add button, and we're going to set a name for the quota, and the name will be males. And next we're going to set the expression that makes up this quota. An expression can be any logical expression that returns true for this quota. In our case it's pretty simple. We're going to say that the answer to question number one equals one. That is male. And we're going to click here and we're going to add another quota called females. And this time the expression will be answer to question number one equals two. That's females. To learn more about the syntax of expressions throughout the survey and scripting, you can see our survey logic video series. But simple expressions like these are very simple to master. We're going to leave the default quota as empty and the message also as empty but we can see later how the message will control what, ha what is shown to the interviewer once this quota is reached. We'll save the survey and we're almost ready to see how quotas are shown on the device. But before that, let's talk a minute about the different quota types that we have. Our default quota model is a per interview quota, per interviewer quota model where each and every interviewer has its own assigned quotas. The other model is a global quota setting where all the interviewers draw from a global quota setting. In this example, we're going to use the, the default per interviewer quota set. And as you can see, the default quota for each interviewer is 20. But we can change that and let's see how. So we are working on the demo project and the smoker survey. You can see that the interviewers assigned to this project include Alan, Andy, Jim, John, Mark, and PC. So we can set the quota for each of those interviewers. We'll double click on the quotas in order to set them. We'll select the smoker survey and see that the middle pane here sets the quota for the specific interviewers while on the bottom we can see the global view of what's currently happening. We can see that globally there are no males and no females that have been surveyed. And we can also see that each and every interviewer has a target of 20 assigned as its default quota. Let's see how it looks like on the device. I'm going to log in as Jim. And let's enter the smoker survey. When you have quotas enabled, there's an additional quotas tab where the interviewer can see exactly how many quotas he's done of each of the different quotas. So we can see that there are still 20 males to go and 20 females to go. If we complete a, a male quota interview, and for demo purposes, I'm just going to skip to the last question and we're ready to complete this interview. We can see that now the males have has turned into one out of 20. And if we refresh the quotas right here, we can now see that Jim has completed a male's quota. and has 19 males to go. 
Let's learn how to manage the quotas. From the quotas management screen, I can easily filter out Jim and then change the target quota of the males to 25 and females to 36. I can then save the changes and then once the tablet synchronizes, you can see that now Jim has completed one of 25 instead of 20 and still 36 females to go. Once I change the females to 36 and the males to 25, I can see that the global quotas have also been automatically updated to reflect the change. Let's switch the target to 1 and see what happens on the device once we reach the target. So now we've completed 1 out of 1 males, and let's run an another survey and see what happens when we click on males. The message we get is that the quota was exceeded for males, and we, and we will automatically terminate this interview. If you need to, you can change the exceed action from cancel to filter or to none. If you change it to none, the interviewer will be simply allowed to continue. If you switch it to filter, the interview will be filtered, meaning the interview will be terminated, but, but the interview data collected up to that note will be saved and uploaded to the server. Let's change the message that shows up when the mail quota is reached. To do that, we're going to go back to designing the survey to the quota configuration pane and we're going to set the message for mails. No more mails please. And we're going to save this survey. Back at the device, once we click on run and everything is synchronized and we choose mail, now we get the no more mails please message instead of the default one. This message can also be translated into additional languages and you can watch the multiple languages video to learn how to do that. Finally, let's switch models to use the global quotas instead of the per interviewer quotas. To do that, I simply click on the use global quotas and use live quotas and save the survey. This has the effect of deleting all of the per interviewer quotas and leaving only a single instance of the male and female quotas and all the interviewers draw from that quota. So if we set the target to 200 males and 210 females and save the change all of the interviewers will get that specific quota and all of them will draw from that. This also has the effect that the device will try to synchronize the quota much frequently than it does on a regular basis. So this work, this method of quotas require much more consistent internet connection and will cost you more in data. So please make sure you're set up to use global, global quotas if you need to. Do not use global quotas if you only work offline, since none of the devices will be able to synchronize with the server and understand that the quotas have been decreased by the other tablets. Once the device synchronizes, you can see that the global quotas have been applied and now the interviewer will draw from the global quotas. You're not limited to simple quotas such as male and female, but can actually add much more complicated two-dimensional or three-dimensional or n-dimensional quotas by manipulating the expression. For example, let's create a quota that includes females, that's two for answer for question number one, who are aged 16 to 24, which is two for question number two. To put that in, let's add a new quota. Females 16 to 24 years. And the expression will be answer to question number one equals two, which is females, and answer to question number two equals also two, which is 16 to 24 years old. And we're going to save this survey and refresh the quota screen. Now you see that we have that interlock quota, females 16 to 24 years old, 
with a target of 20. And once we synchronize the device, the new quota shows up as well. In this video, we'll learn how to configure quotas, the different quota modes and types, and how to manage the quotas.